Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of FNS Uncensored. My name is Faye Kemi. And my name is Simi Badu. And if this is your first time watching or listening, thank you so much for pressing play. Make sure you follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, on YouTube, on TikTok. I think that's all. Have you? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. FS Uncensored. <laughs> and you can listen LinkedIn. to us. Oh, we're actually on LinkedIn too, <laughs> FNS Uncensored. Yeah, so everywhere, to be fair, except Facebook because we're Gen Zs. Thank you. Um, yeah, you can also listen to us on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Just click the link in any bio of ours and you'll get it. There you go. How was your week? My week was... It wasn't good because I was sick ah. for most oh. of it. <laughs> I had a flu. Um, Thank God and we don't look like what we are going through because you won't know. Honestly, because Cause my she had all these appointments. My brother and Fake me were <laughs> trolling me that, oh, I'm saying I'm sick. I'm going to do my hey, nails. I'm, I'm sick. going to do my lashes. I'm, I'm going to do my I'm hair. sick. I'm going but to do my lashes. I'm sick. The truth I'm about to do my nails. We must not always look like what we are going through mm. because I'm sick doesn't mean I must look sick. But you must you rest. Know? Yeah, I'm stressed. I, w- I rested. I just go out, do the appointment, go back home. That's all, mm. you know. Your lashes, at least, you're lying down. You're, you can't sleep. Mm. You get so. Good, good. Um, yeah, but the sickness also has gotten me out of a lot of things this week. So, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to go to. Ah, I don't mean, okay. Yeah, well, you know, I'm not okay, so I don't go. Mm, but you're yeah. strong. Yeah, but now I'm feeling better, you know. I went to work. I didn't go to work on Tuesday. But at least this week was also good because we had a long weekend. So, there was no work on Monday. And I also didn't go to work on Tuesday because I wasn't feeling well. Um, but yeah, it's not been it's been okay, Sha. So I'm I'm in recovery, just resting. Didn't do anything this weekend either. Yeah. Just chilling. How was your things week? have changed? I mean, nothing special. Thank you to everyone that listened to the Phil's episode. Your feedback was very nice, and we didn't get dragged. God, thank, thank you. God. Hey, <laughs> hallelujah. Thank God. But yeah, um, not <coughs> bad. Okay, please. I have a special um request to whoever it may concern. We need street lights in Lagos. I don't know how we be calling us, we be calling ourselves mega city, and we don't have street lights. It doesn't make sense. For there not to be street lights in Lagos, in any city, mm-hmm. in f- for Lagos mm-hmm. for that matter. But yeah, so to whoever I may concern, you know, I'm not asking anybody, but um, please, I beg you. <laughs> please give I us beg you. give us street lights. Thank <laughs> you. If you can't give us water and you know education and good health, at least give us street lights. At Thank least you. let's be able to see where we're going and Thank coming you. to at night. Thank you. But yeah, you guys really ate up the last episode, man. Mm-hmm. Like we really liked Phil's and Phil's was great vibes. So thank you to Phil's for coming on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess more guests. Well, you guys shouldn't get too excited because you, you can also let us know who you want to um see. I want Thames, so I'm putting this out there now. If you know Thames or if you happen to be Thames, <laughs> can you please yeah, like call yeah, us from our lips to we'll, we'll probably still yeah. call you, but like call us. Yeah. But yeah. And also I th- I think I also want I want David O. I want whiskey. David O. will not be bad, though. I David O. will not be bad. Tiwa, you know, Ira. You know, there yeah. are many people I want, but yeah. you know what? Call me. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it work for you. Yeah. Think about it. We consider it. It's okay. You're <laughs> even doing too much. <laughs> you know, so yeah, so what I've got on this week? Well, I, hmm, hmm, I've been thinking about this topic and how I want to say it without um, knocking anybody down. But the videos that we have been getting to some of the songs are not it and i understand that not every video has to be what the song is saying but stamina and what we saw so <coughs> yeah so i so that i think that's actually a very very <coughs> good starting point because <coughs> it wasn't um, really it at all and you know we always talk about how um it's it's great to let people express themselves let people, you know explore their creativity and whatever but i think that again like we've said before now, we're at a space in our industry where we have to get things right. Like, and not just get it right for us here, but get things right because there are so many people looking at us and inwards. And just even just portraying messages as they're supposed to be portrayed. So, stamina, stamina, you're going to need more stamina. <laughs> we are like, more on me now. What was that little girl like, doing there? What was the little girl doing there? I'm I don't really understand the, like... like I, I, said. I mean, I guess it was... Them, like, I guess, in what a house or a see, I don't even care to interpret know. what like <coughs> it was, but my point is that there's a wombolo, wombolo, wombolo <laughs> going on because party no, they stop. Why are we in the jungle dancing, like, bro? Like, why me? actually? And like, like it just seems like there's a whole like modern day jungle, you know, they already think Africa is a jungle, it's already mm-hmm. bad enough, but now you guys are like, now giving them modern day mm-hmm. jungle vibes. Like, mm-hmm. why can't we be in the, if you must make it 
I don't know, if you don't want it to have the, um, what's the word, the, um, necessarily message that is passing, mm -hmm. at least give us, like, streets of Lagos or something, like, party doesn't, like, everybody knows that Lagos is, this, is actually the city that yeah, doesn't Yeah, like, the so party where they stop video could have been a streets party. Yeah, like, the, like, vibe. Stamina, I don't even want to get into that, like, the whole thing was just, like, I don't even know where we started from. Where we're Let me keep, like, I was about to say something, but like, <laughs> yeah, like, I, yeah, there's just, and, yeah. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. and I'm all for people like expressing their soul. I'm not knocking anybody down. Honestly, I'm sure it took a lot of work to pull all those videos together, but please, it's 2 30. But then, the, so the, so they were dragging video. Very, 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 in fact, amazing. Do you understand? Video. They were dragging, obviously, they were dragging the person who just video um, on the tail, and then the director. Tweeted, he came out and said that and that the party is not a, the song is not a party song, so he doesn't know what they are talking about. That. Okay. And then, but he ended up deleting it because obviously, like, it's not a party it's, song. It's not a party song, Abby. <laughs> no, okay, Abby. No P. And no yeah, P. like, just I think just take the criticism. I think just take the criticism, um, and and just um, yeah, just know that we want videos. We love videos, like unavailable video, for example, like. I liked it, but it was also kind of disappointing to me. So it was also another wombolization. But I guess the only defense that, I'll ha that I will give Jividu is that the entire timeless thing yeah. is kind of like jungle vibes. Yeah, I yeah. don't really know why, but, mm -hmm. but that's which is thing. fair. Yeah. So like initially I thought, the, and the unavailable video actually, it's not as much as it gave me, yeah, do you know as much as it gave me wombolization <laughs> uh, vibes, it was also kind of like party-ish. I don't know how to yeah, explain, yeah, but like, yeah. That whole, like, I don't know, like, I don't know. It's like we're doing modern day, like. Mm -hmm. ah, I feel like everybody's nah. videos are very, like, it, but we're now getting to the point where it's either, like, oversimplistic or yeah, trying to be overly creative where you just kind of just miss the whole point of, of what you're trying to do. And for me, it's like, even, like, honestly, and I've noticed a theme as well in most videos is that there's that African theme. They're not dancing but in then sand, they're wearing... It, it also stresses me out yeah. as well because it's like you don't dress like this like yeah yes okay there are definitely time. people they're definitely like of course like we have our traditional outfits and whatever but that is completely different to how we are put, like and i know most of you are trying to get to the western side i don't know why but that is a totally different topic but like yeah no like that is not opinion to us and i agree to a lot of them think is a modern jungle which is why they can make some films i will not mention in that marvel studio that the whole place is a jungle. Like, okay, yeah, we understand you're going to Africa, but it does not have to be a jungle. Yeah. Like, we can do... It. Does this look like a jungle? Like, I'm so confused. Yeah, but does it? Anyway, I just wanted maybe, to speak on... I think maybe we're in the forest. Maybe outside here. I don't know. Maybe I just honestly forest. wanted to speak on it and just be like, please, let's do better and let's free all this African stuff. Like, not freeze, but like freeze at the same time because you're not going to wear that. Even if there's a costume party, like... I don't know, man. It's just, yeah, there's just a lot going on that I'm not ready for. Yeah. Sorry. So, yeah. But, hey, not knocking anybody down. No, Keep doing not at all. So just please do better. Yeah. Like, let's just, let's, let's try I can't, and before they come and drag me, yes, I can't shoot video, but that's why I'm not shooting video because I can't. So yeah, we just need to do like better, that. man. And if it, um, you know, yeah, we just, we just, we really just need to do better, I beg. Um, Tiwa Savage, speaking of stamina and the video, Tiwa Savage, um, news broke. I think on Saturday. Well, I heard on Friday, oh, but yeah, Saturday. okay, Friday slash Saturday. Friday slash Saturday um, that she was there was an attempt to kidnap her um, from her house. Um, That's so crazy. And yeah, it was apparently like maybe her driver or something who um, had basically been planning or trading her and had been giving information to certain people to try and like actually like intrude her house and kidnap her. Can you um, imagine? Thank God she's okay. Um, thank God that they were able to catch um, at least the people or a few of the people that were involved. Um, but again, like it just goes back to just Nigeria being, you know, like extremely dangerous, mm -hmm. um, not being able to trust anybody. And it's also one of those where as much as you 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 say, oh, you can't trust everybody and da -da -da, be careful of your stuff, you're actually going to have a driver. You're actually going to have people that are going to assist you in whatever way and you can only be so careful, like, what? Okay, so what else was she supposed to have done? Like, I'm sure she well, did her due diligence. No, 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 I'm just saying, like, no. just in general, like, obviously she would have done her due diligence. Um, she would have, because when I saw, I think it was Kemi Lenoyo that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please. Yeah, <coughs> please. That broke the news, please. and she then basically like went on to say that um, Nigerian celebrities should be should be careful of their domestic staff and they should never post their locations only when they are going for shows which again is fair enough but first of all there is it's time to say certain things 
And then secondly, like let's just leave anti-chemistry. Yeah, 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 let's actually just leave her. But secondly, like again, even if if somebody is going to do something like that, they are going to do it whether they are, whether you do your due diligence, diligence or not. I'm sure before now she has been hiring people. She does her due diligence. She tries her best to get you know the best hands possible. But mm-hmm. if somebody is just wicked, they are wicked. Like and if somebody is bad, they are bad. Yeah, if people are bad, they are bad. But thank God she's okay, Sha. And thank God that nothing like drastic happened to her. But yeah. speaking of bad people and bad things, another building collapsed in Ikoyi this week. And you know, this is supposed to be <laughs> the um, elite. <coughs> side of Lagos and if things like that are happening there then I mean already knew that there's no hope for, for most of us in Nigeria but like there's really no hope no hope and we all obviously we don't know the um ins and outs of it but f- based on what happened last time and compared to this one I probably think it is a matter of greed so they no so I saw um a, well it probably is a matter of greed but I saw what the the official story was that a one of the um construction trucks drove into the building mm. and which now led it to collapse. But even like going further from that, apart from the building actually collapsing, which is terrible, they didn't allow any media have access to that place. So nobody really actually knows what's going on there. According to the Lagos State Government, there were no casualties. But in the video that we all you saw, can literally see there were people a bunch at the of top of the top building of, uh, like walking and on. doing whatever. And I'm pretty sure that there were other people on other floors of the building doing whatever work they were supposed to do because they were building a house. Um, the Lagos State Government claims that there is no casualties um, and that everybody that was in the building was rescued. Um, I, On one hand, I really, really want to hope and pray and believe that that's the case, but we're in Nigeria and, like, you know, nothing is as it seems. And it's also just weird, like, why are you not giving press access? Why are you not letting anybody actually go and see what's going on or what uh, if you're not lying like it's weird i so. also find it like that story of that building looked very big mm-hmm. if one truck drove into the building mm-hmm. apparently apparently whether it's one side whether it's in the middle why should the whole, whole structure building collapse yeah. it's even good if that if the truck really um drove into it, then it's even good because mm-hmm. if a truck can bring down a whole building like that that was not that one floor that, that was not like two floors bu- that looked like seven floors that's like, a building that people should be living come in come on but anyway, I really hope that nobody died, and I hope the people there that were rescued, quote unquote, were not mm-hmm. injured at least not too much because ah, oh nah. For me, that's one of my biggest fears. Yeah, and really again, collapsing. we just need to do better because for me, it's just so people were going to. Some people have even already paid for those those yeah. those houses and those units. Who were you were going to? Let people go and live there, mm-hmm. all for what? So they will just wake up one and day. And that's what happens because the one that on happened on Bodilon <coughs> just in November was it? Not yeah. last year, year before. Mm-hmm. They didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. And not even word on road. Uh, what happened was they found the owner's body because he was in the building when yeah. it happened, and they stopped searching for other for people other there. People. And then obviously people there were like, "You're not going to, we're not going to let that fly, like yeah. whatever." But like, if the right things were done, then if like you know, the rights, what's the word, like, the rights consequences were given mm-hmm. to whoever was in charge, then people will not be building stupid buildings up and down. Yeah, and again, because it is also in areas where, of course, like, there are higher powers, so these buildings are obviously owned by people with in, in enough legs to to get away with things. It's, it's almost like the Chris Land situation, again, yeah. where, obviously, there's somebody that they have some form of connect or some form of plug that just shields you from um, from the consequences, cons- consequences, eh? consequences mm-hmm. <laughs> that you're supposed mm-hmm. to face. Um, but yeah, I mean that is the typical Nigerian story, and it's not fair. But hopefully, many gets better because as we are now, I don't even know. Like, I don't know where we're going. We're just just the carry girls. They go where we don't know, and we're just going and going and going. But we yeah, I hope. Think. I don't know. I don't even know what I hope for, but. Just hope for the best, to be honest. Let's see, I'm tired. Like you guys should just stop building places or houses. If no, you know it's not even about stop building. Just don't be greedy. Like no, if, if you can't don't do, have, pro- if can't do it properly, if you don't, don't have do the resources at all. to build <coughs> a seven-story building. Build one story mm-hmm. or build bungalow. Like I'm so confused. Like ah, greed, 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 yeah, greed. greed is so hey, bad. God. Anyway, and we're saying um, let people build. Well, please give us street lights. I'll keep saying this. <laughs> there are no street lights on the roads of Lagos. Please it's give us street lights. That mainland is. Black, as in you, as in it's already bad enough that ju- uh, during the night you should not really be on third million But imagine going no street no lights. It's like, yes. come yeah, on, it's scary. Come on, it's scary. It's scary. Anyway, um, on to lighter things. Yeah. When I performed at Coachella, the 
performance wasn't bad. It wasn't my best performance. It wasn't my favorite performance, but it was it was all right, man. Yeah, I think I think I'm Bonner, happy for him. Yeah, I think Bonner is great. I think that um, performance wise, always he always gets me. Like he's always like, oh wow, like okay, here we go again. What's new? Um, so yeah, it's always a good time to see him. He's a rock star. Though, like, I saw. Yeah, that he, guy has energy I for days. <coughs> I, I saw that he did a show in um, I think it was Dallas over the weekend, and someone tweeted. Um, <laughs> Bonner boy just apologized to us in Dallas for coming out one hour late. Hey. <laughs> Lagos could never or something hey. like that. And I was just like, man. Somebody that came out, I was it too. Like, that kicked somebody's I head. I was still insulting that, if not for <laughs> shame. <laughs> 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 and God. kicked somebody. God, we are so far. Anyway, ah, really. God, we are so far. Yeah, we are so far. But, um, so yeah, his performance looked really, really cool. Um, I think Bernard is just like, Bernard is who he thinks he is. He's, he's where he needs to be. I'm happy that, you know, I guess he's getting his flowers and his talent is showing and shining. Um, and it's good to see, like, the reaction from the crowd as well. Because, you know, before now, we've had many, like, African talents and acts, like, performers, Coachella and all this stuff. And people, maybe they know one song, but we know the other. But for Burn, I was like, people really knew, like, the music. And, yeah, it's just always nice to see the global acceptance and all that stuff. It's nice, but it's not um, do or die. So for any upcoming artists, even if they're not putting your song in America, it doesn't mean you haven't made it mm-hmm. because it's, I call it modern day slavery. Like, mm-hmm. you are, you, you, un, it's not until the white man accepts you that you're good, please, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. So and then we also, <laughs> we also watched um, David O's, um Coco, Coco London Ooh. show. Um, which that was good. Timeless show, which was really that one. Was really that one I enjoyed. Yeah. I don't know if it's sentiment or whatever, but I really enjoyed. That yeah, one. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed when, like, I feel like the one part of it that I, w- I wanted to watch and I was happy to watch was when they all performed on available on stage and they all came out to dance. I loved that part. Not bad. Um, Not bad. And yeah, just nice to see they were doing in good spirits, mm-hmm. in high spirits, and just you know vibing out. And the Lagos show is this <coughs> weekend. Yeah, I'll be there, but I'll be there. You never know. Ah, well, you never, never know. know. You, never you know. just never know. Who knows? Yeah. The end of the day. might just be like, FNS, I like you guys. Yeah. Come on, just come. come, come. Hey, FNS, I like you guys. Don't come, 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 come. <laughs> I'll send you to get. <laughs> we'll go know. over your colors. We'll be there. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, everybody is up for everybody. Period. It's up. So I was going through my um, Instagram or whatever in th- on the internet, and I saw a video that um, V posted, and she was basically she was like, "Hi, my name is Victoria. I'm 26, and I live in Lagos. <laughs> I actually saw that. And um, there's nothing else to do in Lagos apart from club. That's one. So I want to talk about two things, right? First mm-hmm. of all, there be nothing to do in Lagos, and then the second thing is there be nothing else to eat other than rice, <laughs> pasta, <laughs> maybe dodo. Like, bro. No, but you also don't eat things. I do. <laughs> So can I eat shawarma? Can I have a burger? Can I have pizza? Yeah. Uh-huh. No. Uh-huh. No, but so. that's not, no, but that has to be other things. <laughs> like? That has to be other. I don't know. Can but I eat potatoes? Mm, okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. What's again? Yam. Uh-huh. Beans. Jollof of rice. Uh-huh. Okay, that's still rice. Yeah. <laughs> Spaghetti. It's still pasta. Nah, but I'm so tired of like eating rice, pasta. Doodle, See me, you need to branch like, out. Every day. You need to branch out. Is it's difficult. No, though. but it's actually hard. Like it's even me, I'm not like me. I'm not a pick eater. Like sometimes I'm just like, what? It, generally in life, actually. Yeah, so like what is that bread? Yeah. Like <sighs> you just have to be creative with it. But this girl would rather hang. It's not about, but it just it, it's one it's one of those where okay, be creative with it. Can you eat an egg? Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not bad. Even like last year, I started eating like that uh, mixed egg where they put like tomatoes and stuff in it. <laughs> Very recent development, but yeah, <laughs> um, but yeah, there needs to be other things to eat, man, and other things to do as well as apart from clubbing, like you know, to be somehow. But there's actually there's nothing getting, to do. There's even nothing to long. do. There's nothing to there's do nothing. because uh, well, some people give us concerts, but most of uh, um, the people that we actually want to see don't give us concerts till December. Mm. So there's nothing to do till mm. then. Mm. Mm. Look at like a get arena, for example. That if you like go karting and go is run. In fact, the building is done. They've they oh, are, they're not there again. Are you joking? Oh, they're, Jesus. they're like it's literally like, I don't even think maybe there's like one roof on like one. <laughs> it's literally like it's gone. No. I think. So finished. there's we don't have any go karts okay. in Nigeria again. No. Jesus. Um, what are you I know we, we don't have, have tourist attractions, so there's nothing to do. I know we have the that I think they call the screen scream room where you can go and like scream and break stuff and all what that. What is that? Okay, I what if know, I don't I want guess to scream? It's to relieve stress. Okay, what I if guess, I don't want to scream? Um, can we go to... The, the beach is always long as well. because And the beach, like, <coughs> I, it's only in this Lagos that you pay to go to any beach. 
it is only in this Lagos. Yeah. There's yeah. like the bitch is from God. How are you get keeping, keeping God work? <laughs> like I'm so confused. But that's the state, man. Even Barbie, like, just begging Barbie, Ilashe, Eleko, everywhere you want to go, you must pay you money. Must like pay it doesn't money. make sense. It doesn't make sense. Doesn't like why can't we just the go? The only thing that they used to do in Lagos is go and eat in overpriced restaurants that you get there now, they'll slap you that your transaction did not go through. Bro. Or you get there, they'll tell you that what oh, they give you sports the menu. food. So please, like there's nothing to do. And even the club in quote unquote that you want to do, if you don't have yeah, boy, money. You can't club. You can't club. Because if you don't have a table, you're not entering. Like, it yeah. is only in Lagos that they will get yeah. keep everything. Your funds. I saw the life. There was, there was, there's a girl that I follow on Twitter. Um, and she posts, like, those random videos of talking about, like, just different things. And she was talking about how, like, like the whole structure of Lagos nightlife and, like, Lagos restaurants has really, really spoiled like going out for her because I think she wanted to go to a restaurant and she called and was like, oh, um, I think she wanted to go by herself, I think. And oh, and like, they said, oh, yeah, and they were like, oh, minimum is three people and it's more 50k per person. 